Every year, the first Saturday in May is reserved for the Run for the Roses. But the last Saturday in April hosts another community tradition. The Derby Festival is kind of the grandfather of all races, uh, at least in this area. I mean, it's, it's a tradition. Oh, I wouldn't miss this race. The Great Balloon Race draws pilots from across the area, like Brian. They come back every year trying to claim their piece of Kentucky Derby Festival fame. I mean, it's definitely friendly competition. You know, we're, we're all, everybody wants to win. But, you know, nobody's going to do anything crazy to beat somebody else. The race itself isn't much of a race, but more of a test of the pilot's aim while floating thousands of feet in the air. Pilots follow the hair balloon to a target, then try to throw a bag of bluegrass seed as close to the target as possible. When the hair balloon takes off, we just kind of watch him. We see what's going on with the wind. And the one who is the best judge of how long do I need to be in that current is the one that's going to win. A lot of times they will force you to go early in the race. And my strategy is to pretend that I'm not quite ready to go and let some of the other balloons go first. We call those the wind dummies. I've become the permanent hair balloon. I lead them. I know where the X is going to be. I'm always going to be the closest guy to the X because it's in my basket until we arrive. While winning is ideal, just being in the air is enough for most. I mean, just look around. It's just peaceful and wonderful, and the view is just amazing every single time. I mean, it's the coolest thing. I've got the best job in the world. You can catch Brian, Scott, and over 30 other pilots in the 50th Great Balloon Race this Saturday. From a random field in Taylorsville, I'm Addie Miners, WLKY News.